In this Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can quickly make a tunnel go straight through one of your T-splines. It's as simple as going to the Form menu by clicking Create Form. Then I can make a box. I'll click on the origin. I'll drag out a box. Notice in this case, I have six faces on each side. I'll press OK. Then I'm going to go to Modify, Bridge. I'll select four boxes on this side. Then I'll rotate to the other side. And I won't even pick in the same spot. I'll click these four boxes, I'll say OK, and then suddenly, bam, I have a tunnel going right through my form. This is a very fast way of making holes in boxes and T-splines. You can also use this to make an arch. For example, if I create another form, and I draw out my box, and I say OK, now I'm going to look in the box view, I'll press Control-1 or Alt-1, and then I want to make an arch, so I can click these two faces, modify bridge, then go to the other side, click these two faces, say OK, and now it'll leave some extra geometry, so we just need to erase that. I can just select this geometry and delete it, and now I have an arch right here. You can then merge or weld these edges back together, and you'll have a nice arch going through your geometry. This is really convenient for making handles and any other regularly organic forms using Bridge in Fusion 360. You can also change the number of faces when you're making a tunnel. So for example, if I want to go from here, these three, Modify, Bridge, I'll select these three. And then I want to go way down to here. And so I want just more geometry because it's going to taper down. So I can make the number of faces be something like eight, and then I can say OK. And then that will be going through that form pretty well. As it tapers down, you can see how that works. So hopefully you can use Bridge to make tunnels through your geometry in Fusion 360. Happy 3D modeling.